Welcome to the 2008 Children's Miracle Network Celebration Broadcast. In the next half hour, you're going to meet the people that care for Southwest Georgia's sick kids, families that have benefited from CMN, and you're going to meet the people that have opened their hearts to Southwest Georgia's sick children. And speaking of hearts, I'm standing in what you could say is the heart of health care for Southwest Georgia's children, Phoebe Putney Memorial Hospital. Phoebe is a Children's Miracle Network hospital. It's a distinction that means more than having access Access to great care and technology. It means that Phoebe is Southwest Georgia's hospital for sick kids. When your child is sick, this is where they're going to come first. He came in um, with altered mental status. Um, his blood sugar was extremely high. Um, he's 12 years old and has been a diabetic since he's been a young child. Normal finger stick for like me and you is between 80 and 100. His finger stick was greater than 1,000. People with juvenile diabetics, it's very difficult for them to regulate their blood sugar. They have to take it frequently every day and take doses of insulin, which is very, as you can imagine, very difficult for a young teenager as him. Giving him an insulin drip right now to try to make him as least sweet as we can, if that makes sense. Open your eyes and give me some love. You're fine. Kids are very special to us. Um, we treat them like they're our own. It's very difficult for him. He's lost his mother when he was very young, so obviously that pulls on our heartstrings even more. We're very happy about the support that his family gives him. Um, but having to deal with the death of a mother and then having a disease such as diabetes um, so young is very difficult for him. He requires a lot of support services in the community um, and a lot of support here at the hospital. We're in the neonatal intensive care unit at Phoebe Putty Memorial Hospital in Albany, Georgia. We have uh, been in existence as a, um, as a NICU uh, since the early 80s. People don't realize how many babies we have in this unit at all times. And, and our average daily census for last year was 34 babies. And that means we have 34 baby on average every day in this hospital. We do a variety of things in our NICU. You were observing us uh, going through rounds. Rounds occurs from 9 to noon every day. All those disciplines are required to uh, care for the infant. Most large nurseries will have these different disciplines as part of the rounds, but um, not all nurseries have the benefit of this. But here at Phoebe, I'm very, very happy that we, we have this. And not only do we have it, but we have it in the nursery. In other words, our dietitians are uh, specific to the babies. They don't go around the rest of the hospital. And our pharmacists are the same thing. They're present here in the nursery. Um, they don't uh, provide care to the other parts of the hospital. Every second counts with a baby. In case there's a problem with the baby, we have to be there and available in case we need to do something immediately. A baby doesn't need its lungs until it's born. And, and, and in the development stages, you've got the lungs being the last thing. I think there's one other hospital in the state of Georgia that has a dedicated respiratory therapist team in their unit. And other than that, we're, we're the only ones. And we're, the, and we're in South Georgia, Georgia. Now I try to staff with three therapists in the unit at all times, one ready to go on transport. Um, we have like five ventilators going right now. We did uh, 251 transports last year alone. That's from January to December. We went down and picked up babies in outlying hospitals. We have 16 hospitals within our region. There are six regions in the state of Georgia. And the Albany region, we cover Sumter County over to Crisp County, down I-75, down to Lowndes County, and all of Southwest Georgia. We have a very good working relationship with all the hospitals in, in not only this area, but also in the state of Georgia. We have a very reputable team. They know that we are a state-of-the-art institution. They know that we do a very good at what we do. Our reputation speaks a lot for itself, and we, we, work, we strive really hard to make sure that we maintain that reputation. We're on, uh, right in front of the nurse's station on, on pediatrics. We get really busy. Sometimes we are full and they're waiting in the EC. We care for children throughout the South. 
because I've almost lost her twice. She's had a tough time, but through, you know, the hospitals that's helped here, and uh, she's, they're dealing with it, you know. She's, she's getting stronger all the time, you know, and uh, I think here directly, you know, she's going to overcome this problem, you know, with y'all's help in these hospitals and these doctors and God, you know, and we really appreciate it. Zachary's treatment will be lifelong. We do have an uh, extensive caseload of kids with cerebral palsy. With Zachary, we're actually working on feeding and swallowing and any kind of language activities. Yay. He may not be able to speak words now. His eyes tell you volumes and the excitement on his face. And so all the small victories are what keeps him motivated and the family as well. I talk to people when we go to various continuing ed workshops and, you know, places around the state and to hear other people talk about what their hospital is like and how they don't have um, access to adequate supplies. Um, it's just, it's heart wrenching because Children's Miracle Network and the funds available through CMN have helped us tremendously with being able to buy some of those special toys here that Zachary can help play with and some of the oral motor tools that we can use to help him become a more functional feeder. And it's vital for his success and the success of the other patients that we see as well. Children's Miracle Network, they provide pediatrics with a lot of things that we in the budget I, I just don't think we would ever get. Children's Miracle Network is very vital to the purchasing of equipment in our unit that's state of the art. They've provided us with some ventilators. They've uh, provided us with uh, some of the giraffe beds that you see, which are important for the very smallest baby's uh, survival. It, it helps with temperature regulation. And they've uh, also provided us with a transport truck, which is a very expensive item and very needed. The money that we contribute to Children's Miracle Network stays right here in southwest Georgia. It stays right here at this hospital. It doesn't go to corporate somewhere else in, in Tennessee or wherever else it, you know, corporate headquarters are. That money stays right here, and we're able to use every bit of those funds to help get us equipment for down here. I have to say Phoebe is very blessed with Children's Miracle Network with giving us the, the equipment that we need. The support that Children's Miracle Network gives us helps us to um, not only have them survive, but have healthy babies survive. <laughs>